enter. Continue as before. Or would you see the Imperium's reverse stalled by your lack of focus? I will be ready, as the vessel, and to Vinter's champion. Calpurnia sounds like she's doing this for Tevinter, not Corypheus. Another deflection. Why, a dwarf and ball, as if mine was miraculously returned to me. Let's give your new owner a glimpse of her fate. Venatori, we leave. That is all the crystal recorded before she found it, but I think it may be enough. A shrine to Dumat, Corypheus said, where Calpurnia is forbidden to go. Who is this Dumat that Corypheus mentioned? An old god, worshipped in ancient Tevinter as the Dragon of Silence. He was the first to rise as an archdemon and bring the blight. Truly a god fit for Corypheus. I'd bet Corypheus has something in that shrine he doesn't want Calpurnia to see. I agree. There is much to gain here. Whatever Corypheus hides from his trusted lieutenant should be illuminating. Let us investigate this shrine. Carefully. I doubt Corypheus has left it unguarded. Talk later. Goodbye. Your Worship. My Lady Inquisitor, it's good of you to speak with me. I have news regarding one of your companions, the De Winter. Is that a note of distaste I detect, Mother Giselle? I. I admit his presence here makes me uncomfortable, Inquisitor, but my feelings are of no importance. I have been in contact with his family, House Pravas, out of Carinas. Are you familiar with them? Familiar? We've never met, if that's what you're suggesting. I'm suggesting nothing. I'm only curious whether you know of his... situation. The family sent a letter describing the estrangement from their son and pleading for my aid. They've asked to arrange a meeting quietly without telling him. They fear it's the only way he'll come. Since you seem to be on good terms with the young man, I'd hoped. If you think I'm going to trick Dorian into meeting his family... Oh, I feared you might say that. The family will send a retainer to meet the young man at the Red Cliff Tavern, to take him onward. If he truly does not wish this reunion, he can always end the matter there. I pray you change your mind, Inquisitor. Perhaps their letter will persuade you. If there is any chance of success in this, it behooves us to act. Here we are again. It occurs to me that I barely know anything about you. I am the scion of House Parvis, a product of generations of careful breeding and the repository of its hopes and dreams. 
Naturally, I despised it all. The lies, the scheming, the illusions of supremacy. That's Tevinter in a nutshell, isn't it? Needless to say, my family was not happy with my choices. Why remain with the Inquisition? Why not go back to Tevinta? <laughs> I'm not exactly welcome back home. Not that it matters, I'm quite accustomed to being a pariah. It adds to my charm. I can do more for Tevinta here. If the Venatori succeed, it'll set my homeland back a thousand years. I'm sure some Magisters would disagree. But that's why we kill them. I think I've heard enough. That's too bad. I never tire of talking about myself. I'd like to ask you about Tevinta. Popular topic. Anything specific? There's an Imperial Chantry, isn't there? With its own divine. You people aren't supposed to talk about the Black Divine, are you? If you mention him outside the Imperium, people make that face. Like you're urinating in public. But yes, we do have the Chantry, or a version of it. Night and day, comparing it to yours. Do you really call him the Black Divine? <laughs> we don't call him that, oh no. In the Imperium, he's the true Divine. The woman sitting on the Sunburst throne is some backwater pretender. It all stems from a disagreement over Andraste. Marvelous, isn't it? Why would they disagree over Andraste? It's not my field of expertise. But the Imperium believes Andraste was a mortal woman, a mage. Down south, they say, no, she's the bride of the Maker, ascended to his side, divine provenance, a blah, blah, blah. We feel better believing Andraste was one of us. Makes executing her less damning, you see. So we elected a man as divine, the south declared war, and we've been feuding cousins ever since. So... the Imperial Divine is always a man? All the better to distinguish him from that other one, yes. Don't think there aren't a number of female Magisters who bristle at that. Why can't they be Divine after all? Same reason you never see a man on the Sunburst throne. Because that's how it's always been done. Excellent reasoning. Let me ask you something else. So many questions. That's all I wanted to know. Fair enough. You said Alexius was a mentor of yours. He was my patron, sponsoring me to the higher levels of the Circle of Magi. In return, my successes were his. I had a lot of successes, naturally. Alexius was most pleased. He and I used to talk over Brandy about the corruption. How we could one day make real change in the Imperium. And then he... Gave up. He stopped trying. Why did he give up? On a journey to Hosburg, a darkspawn raid killed his wife and sickened his son. I remember hearing the news. He hadn't been there, you see. Alexius was convinced he could have protected them. And the guilt tore him up. I helped him with his research for a while, and then we drifted apart. That must have been difficult. Back then, I was furious. I told him to snap out of it, move on. I thought I had all the answers. Later, I regretted my hasty words. But we didn't speak again until he approached me for the Venatori. Too much pride, I suppose. Plus, I was busy drinking. One must have priorities. Was it hard being away from him? It was hard not having a patron, yes. I'm not exactly built to fit in. At any rate, he's dead now. More's the pity. Dorian, there's a letter you need to see. A letter? Is it a naughty letter? A humorous proposal from some Antivan dowager? Not quite. It's from your father. From my father? I see. And what does Magister Hallward want, pray tell? A meeting. Show me this letter. I know my son. What my father knows of me would barely fill a thimble. This is so typical. I'm willing to bet this retainer is a henchman, hired to knock me on the head and drag